Lord, for allowing us again, oh Father, to come into your presence, oh Father God, Jesus, Lord, we're grateful and we're thankful, oh Father, for allowing us to wake on this morning, oh Father, hallelujah, I pray, oh Father God, Jesus, that I decrease, that you may increase on this morning, oh Father, hallelujah, I pray, oh Lord, that you speak, oh Father, hallelujah, unto your people on this morning, oh Father, allow them to receive, oh Father God, Jesus, what you have for them, oh Father, hallelujah, oh move me aside on this morning, oh Father, we're thankful and we're grateful in Jesus' presence. Name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Good. All right. I'm good. Thank okay. You. All right. Uh, we're gonna um jump right back in the kind of where we left off. Um, we're still in the book of John. Thank you. And uh, we're gonna begin at the um I forgot my phone upstairs. Uh we're gonna begin at the um the uh twelfth verse thank you jesus we lost him again Hello, I'm good now. All right, all right, all right. So we uh we're in the book of John chapter eight, and we're going to do the uh, begin at the uh, twelfth verse. Begin at the twelfth verse. It said, "Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life." The first is therefore said unto him, "Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true." Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I come and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh. I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. These, hmm. these words Jesus spoke in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him for this hour was not yet come. I'm sorry, for his hour was not yet come. Okay, so again, we see uh, our Lord and our God, uh, we're picking up at that 12th verse, and again, he said, Jesus spake unto them, uh, saying, I am the light of the world, and he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Again, we see right here, and it's picking up off the heels of what just took place uh, in the 11th verse, right? And, and we see the woman uh, the one through 11, and we see the woman that have committed uh, adultery right there, right? So when he picks up on that and he jumps and, and, and that 12 verse and say again, he said unto them saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of my Lord and my God. That's uh, our Lord and our God. Again, he is uh, giving ex and the example, right? So that when he is speaking on the, um, the follow with me piece, right? Um, he say, uh, the word follow it says to uh, continues to follow him to be in the same way, especially right as a disciple, my Lord and my God, that is uh, our Lord and our God, that is the example again of, of him when he's saying, uh, follow me again, right? So that's what he's saying unto them as he is beginning to pick up, uh, as he is speaking unto these disciples. I mean, I'm sorry, the Pharisees. Uh, at this particular point, right? So again, my mind went to when I saw this piece right here. It, it just, just uh, how he just spoke with um, authority to me, right? And and to me, right here, to me, when he is telling this woman in the eleventh verse, "Go and sin no more," right? I think it was in Mark uh, chapter two when they was letting the man down from the roof, and the man was palsy, and uh, you know he uh, basically uh, forgive the man of his sins, right? And, and 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 the Pharisees were scribes at that particular point, 
right? They say unto him, well, uh, how can you forgive sin, right? You know, only God can forgive sin, but they're standing and they're talking directly unto God. But what he said after that was, which one would be easier for me to say? Was it, you know, your sins be forgiven of you or, you know, your, your, your palsy is forgiven, you know, take up that bed and walk. So when I saw that part right there, the go and sin no more, which one is it? Is it easier for me to say go and sin no more or thy sins are forgiven of you? Right. So basically, he is forgiving her at this particular point. He even said uh, uh, to her, I don't even condemn you. I'm not even judging you at this particular point. But the Pharisees, right, they wanted him or they wanted permission, should I say, to stone her for the sin that she had committed. But what did he say to them? Well, uh, which one of you ain't did nothing? I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing. You, you go ahead, the one that did nothing itself. Y'all go ahead and you throw that first stone, right? So again, mm -hmm. when we jump into 12, he is, he is, he is uh, uh, I guess to me, almost diving a little bit deeper on what he had just said to the woman, right? So again, what he said, I am the light of the world. He that follow me shall not walk in darkness, but uh, uh, shall have the light of life, right? So again, I'm the one that forgives, the ones that follow with me, right? Right? I am the light of life. We need, we need to have him in our lives, right? And again, he is our perfect example, right? So, so again, he is showing us, right? Look, if I can do this, right? I know he's forgiven the woman at this particular time, but I'm thinking about the following piece, right? So us as his disciples, right? The ones that follow him. If he is doing this, as he's, we're not able to forgive sin, but we're able to, to help him, right? To help other individuals that are sinning, right? To help them not to be able to sin, right? And how do we do that? By the way that we live our life. Amen. That's the example, right? So as he is our perfect example, right? So we are following him. He is the example for us all to follow. That's our model, if you will, right? So we live upright, right, unto him, and we do as he also did, right? And it's by living the life. Yes, we are able by his uh, command to heal and raise the sick and all of these things, but it's all by his will, right? Again, yeah. we like to do things, right? Because we we human, we in the flesh, we got individuals and people that may be sick and we're, boy, if we can lay hands on they be healed right then and there, it'll be right, it'd be, we'd be good to go. Come on, don't worry about it, God, you sick, don't you worry about a thing. I got the spirit of God. Watch this. Come on, that, but that ain't how he worked. But we, but I'm trying to tell you, it, that's why he's God and we not. Because it will be healing everybody. Ain't nobody be dead. Come on now. We be raising up everybody. Huh? Because we got the spirit of God. And it is his spirit that is in us. But it is still done at his will and his accord. Thank you, we can't Jesus. move the way that we want to. Right? It is our mm -hmm. job just to be an example as he was unto us for other individuals, right? To see him in us. But he wants to live. That's the other part. Right? That's what we contend with. Right? Letting him have his way the way that he wants to. Mm -hmm. Right? But that, that, is, that is that, you know, that oil and water don't mix. Right? Huh? But that's that. We always topsy turvy. We one sided on this week, one sided that week. But we gotta be right down the middle, huh? We gotta be one way with our Lord and our God. We can't be on the fence, right? Come on, one 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 foot over here dealing with your friends that's still over here and sin. And then we trying to on Sunday or you know prayer day or, 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 or you know when it's time to go to prayer Mondays and Wednesday noon they pray we praying all day long but come Friday right after we go to prayer on Friday nights or service we still got time to go hit that club huh I, I mean I look man it is real you got individuals that do that let's come on man let's just keep it a buck as they say let's keep it one hundred we got individuals that got one foot in the church and the other one out in the world. And that ain't mm -hmm. how our Lord now God works. Scriptures, scriptures, scriptures says you can't serve two masters. Amen. Amen. Either you hate, love the one, or hate the other. Amen. You can't serve God and mammon. No, sir. At the same time, when God sees what we're doing, so you in the Bible also choose ye this day 
Amen. Who are you going to serve? Amen. In other words, you can't Amen. serve. You can't be hot nor cold. Amen. God said, I would that you be hot or cold. So with that individual, right I would just let them know God sees what you've been a hypocrite. Amen. Sometimes you got to call them out. Amen. Amen. You, that was the one I was even thinking about right there, the hot or cold piece, right? I, I was getting ready to go there, but thank you for it. And that's exactly right. You can't be... Uh, 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 he well, lukewarm is the one he said. He don't want you lukewarm. Man. Yeah. It's either hot or cold. One or the other. You got to be one way or the other. Either you're going to dabble in sin and just stay there, or you're going to come on this side and be with our Lord and our God and allow him to lead us in every which way. Thank you, man. That's just as simple as that for me, right? I'm going to read uh, 1 Peter beginning at 21, 1 Peter chapter 2, beginning at 21, right? It said, for even un un here unto were ye called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that ye should follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was God found in his mouth, who when he was reviled, he reviled not. When he suffered, he threatened them, not committed himself, well, I'm sorry, but committed himself to him that judges righteously, who his own self bear our sins in his own back on the tree that we, being dead, right, to sins, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed, Amen. right? For ye were as sheep going astray, but are now returned, right, unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Thank you. You are returned. Come on now. Amen. Unto the shepherd and the bishop of your soul. Come on now. You got somebody that you're supposed to belong to. We have somebody that we support to belong to. You, you can't say, again, I'm serving him this day, and I'm serving him every day. Come on now. It's every hour on the hour. It's every hour on the hour, every minute by minute, right? That, that is what we're supposed to be doing, right? But but he, again, right, in that 21st verse, right? For even unto were ye called. Come on now. He said, because Christ also suffered, what, for us? Leaving us in an example Leaving us an example, right? Amen. He said that ye should what follow, follow his steps. Amen. Right? We walk the way that he walked. As simple as that. Right? And, and and I told you what following is. It continues to follow him to be in the same way with. Thank you. Lord. To be in the same way with. That's what we need to be. Right? Yes, ma'am. Can't hear you. I'll turn the mic on. Sorry about that. Is it on? During the month of cons consecration, that was on my mind. You know, I was sharing with Bishop. I said, you know, the Lord just open my eyes to something. I said, we always try to do things on our own, Amen. but the thought came to me, what would Jesus do? Hallelujah. That's the month of January. Amen. How would Jesus react to this? You know, because we so much in the flesh and our feelings and our emotions, we get so caught up in that. But every, there's nothing new on the sun that Jesus haven't been through that he knows. So all you have to do is follow the scriptures, go in the word, and you see how God reacts, so just like this woman. Amen. He wasn't judgmental. Amen. But we are so quick to judge. Thank you. Because Thank we said we're saved, and we're going by the word of God, but love comes first. Amen. If you love God, then we have to love one another. Amen. So Amen. my thing is, for me, this whole consecration, what would Jesus do? Amen. Whatever my thoughts, my action, Amen. what would Jesus do? Amen. 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 We thank you, Sister Missy, for that. What would Jesus do? Come on now. Let that, let that sink in just a little bit. 
uh, for all of us, right? Again, again, we're talking about him being our perfect example. So when we apply what would Jesus do to him being our perfect example, now they intertwine with one another, right? Come on, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's is how we need to approach, right? Every day. Before we do anything, right? Is, is our Lord not God acceptable with the decision, right, that I'm about to make or have made, right? Again, you, would, it, would it talk about us what, uh, 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 going unto him for all our decisions and all of these things before we do anything, right? Come on mm -hmm. in. That is what we're supposed to do. Scripture says in all that way, acknowledge you. him. <laughs> it didn't say it happy way. It's Amen. something in all. Amen. Amen. Everything you do, acknowledge him. Amen. Acknowledge him. Now, you may want to do this or something, do this or a particular thing on the day. God may say no. No matter how well-intentioned you might want it, if the Lord say no, not this time, no. Amen. And believe me, God knows how to say no. Amen. Amen. That old song, Jesus will never say no. Yo, throw that on the track. God <laughs> does know how to say no. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. You good. <clears throat> it's not on. There you go. And <laughs> <laughs> And this really happened. And Jesus spoke to me just clear as Amen. Who do you think you are? Mm. Mm. That thing did something to me. Amen. And from that point on, I'm careful what comes out my mouth. Amen. Amen. That's what I say, because this is it's something I didn't even know it just came from somebody else. Amen. Told me. Is that you know, and you gotta be careful. Listening to people, Amen. judging based on what that person is Amen. Amen. But Jesus told, He said, "Who do you think you are?" Amen. Amen. I was so confused. Amen. Amen. And 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 I think uh, I think Bishop used uh, a situation with him years ago. I think he was at his job and. He was talking about how everybody got all riled up and they was getting ready to go into the boss and all that. And he got caught up right in the mix. But right before they went in, he said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's your B. That ain't my B. That's your B. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, us as individuals, we get caught up, right? And because those are loved ones or friends and so forth and all that, right? Just because they feel a certain way about an individual, right? Don't mean that I have to feel that way about the individual. I got a coworker, matter of fact, and just a couple weeks ago we was at work and uh, and, and and it was just something similar to this. Um, somebody got uh, fired, and one of my uh, other operator he said, "Man, I ain't like so and so anyway." Man, he was X, Y, and Z. And so the other coworker come over there and say, "Well, why you ain't like him?" He said, "Well, because he had fired me, so he got fired and got brought back." He said, "But you fired yourself." So how you gonna get mad at him for firing you, but you know you was dead wrong, right? So he said, so everybody get mad at me. This is what he said. Everybody get mad at me because I liked so-and-so. He said, I'm one way with everybody. I'm not ready to go and feel no type of way about him just because you do. He <laughs> haven't done nothing to me, right, directly. So he said, until he do. I'm going to still feel the same way I feel about him. He said, I don't treat you no different, him no different, him no different. He said, "He, y'all know I'm the same way with everybody. So again, like you say, that example right there, just because other individuals don't like this person, it does not mean that I have to hop on that bandwagon, right? Just because you feel the way. Now, I ain't saying that the individual very well could have wronged you. And I can agree with them wronging you. But do I really have to feel all the way? Do I have to hate them the way that you hate them? Or I have to have this bad blood against them? No. But I can definitely agree. I can I can say to you, yes, I understand why you feel this way. Right? But I don't have to jump on the hate bandwagon. And I'm not supposed to hate nobody anyway, so let me clarify that. But but again, I don't have to hop on the same bandwagon that you want. 
feel the Amen. way that you feel. But it also talks about the forgiveness. Feel the way that you want to feel. But the Bible even talks about us being able to forgive. Thank you, Lord. Right? So the individual can wrong you. The individual can feel some type of way about you. But again, the Bible teaches us that we're supposed to forgive. Right? Now, I ain't saying because you forgave him that you got to be around him. I ain't going there. I ain't even touching that. All I'm saying is, is to forgive him. Right? And then you can continue to pray unto your Lord to build you up. So at least when you're in the presence of that individual, you can at least be cordial to that individual. And they don't have to feel. Right? Right? Because if look and kill, you still looking at them like they did. Because they, they done did you all way wrong. You stare right through their soul. Right? But with our Lord now God. Right? With his help. Those individuals, those things that people do to us, we're able to get past it. Right? Thank That's the type you. of God that we serve. But we have to allow him, right? Right? To go before us. To heal our hearts. To heal our hearts. Turn that stony heart, huh? Into flesh. To turn the stony heart, right? Because we feel, I mean, I'm telling you, some people do things to certain individuals, and I ain't saying I don't, I, hey, look, I ain't saying I ain't feeling you, but you still got to forgive them. Thank you, Lord. Right? Because the Bible talks about us not even being able to make it into glory, into heaven, right? If we still holding on to, right? And we're not forgiving these individuals. They've had done these things unto us, right? Come on now. Come on. He Again, we're talking about Jesus being our perfect example. He didn't hold all of these things against these individuals, right? Again, on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Right? And that's how I'm saying. Every time somebody do it, Lord, forgive them. I may be hot right now, but forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. Huh? Because the Bible even talks about him uh, uh, fighting our battles for us, right? So if an individual is doing you wrong, you just sit tight long enough, right? Huh? Sometimes the Lord will let you see him working on your behalf. He you, let you see, right? He said, Vengeance is mine, say of the Lord. See, you don't have to always go do nothing, right? All you got to do is sit back and watch him work. I'm trying to tell you, huh? Because the individual, I mean, they can cut you deep. They can cut you deep, man. People can say some words and do some things that can cut you, right? But as long as you're forgiving them, right? Putting it back into our Lord's hand, you can sit back and watch him work. You can sit back and watch because because he's going to take care of that situation, right? I done seen it firsthand where he is able, right? To move, right? On my behalf. I had an individual, um, uh, he, and it, it's crazy. And it wasn't directly to me. Now, it was a part of me because it was actually said or done to my wife, right? And uh, when the situation occurred, uh, an individual had uh, uh, got into a, a wreck and all of these things, right? And I ain't thinking nothing of it. I'm hopping on the phone. I'm talking to Bishop. And I'm like, you know, let's pray. I'm just praying for the individuals and all that. As soon as I hung up the phone, the Lord said, you see what I do? I said, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Do you see what I do? Now, mind you, it wasn't done directly to me. But that's my wife. Huh? So what he doing? He protecting her too. Do you see what I do? Then he was standing up, right? For her as well. Come on now. So what I'm saying is you don't have to do nothing. Because she felt some type of way. But she ain't had to do nothing. And all he said to me was, do you see what I do? Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Yes, he going to protect me. I ain't worried about none of it. You understand me. You, you can do me all types of ways. But I got a God. What do you say? Vengeance yeah. is mine. Don't you sit. Don't you worry about a thing, young man. Yeah. It's my fight. Yeah. That it is Brian. my fight. I'm talking about my mouth drop. I 
We prayed. Jesus. Da, 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 da. I hung up the phone. All right, Bishop, I'll holler at you later. Do you see what I turned around and I mean clear as a bear. I know it wasn't me. <laughs> Cause I wasn't thinking on that type of thing, but he just letting me know I'm right here, son. So with all that being said, we don't have to do nothing. Amen. Let him literally fight your battles. Let him literally fight your battles. It ain't nothing for you to do. But put your trust. Come on, that sheep that love Mohana. Oh, put your trust there. Oh, my Lord and my God. And all things. Oh, Father God, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come Thank on you Lord. Come on, Brother Brian. Oh, glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Allow him. Yes. Come on there. Brother think Brian. about some things that you're going through. Think about some situations that come on there. Because if you think back, because you ain't really even thought about some situations, and you be like, hold up, man. You know what? I never really even thought about that. That situation that you was in, when you go back and look at it, how you came out of it, Huh? He may have not told you like he told me directly. Come on now. He may not tell you, oh, see what I do. But you go back and you think about that. Amen. Huh? And then you Amen. can see for yourself. Come on now. Huh? What he Amen. does. You can see for yourself. Amen. Huh? God take care of his own. Yes, he does. He takes care of his children. Just Hallelujah. like you in the natural. Come on now. We talk about, come on now. Don't you touch no woman key. I'm telling you now, huh? don't you touch no women's children. Huh? Now, I'm a man, right? Now, I'm going to protect them as well. But, man, you go ahead and touch a woman's child and see what good right go down. Huh? Thank you. They serious about that thing. So, when we uh, point that back to our Lord and our God in the spiritual, come on now. Don't you touch his children. You ain't going to do nothing to them. Huh? And if you do, come on now, you better watch out for his right. Thank you. Lord. You better watch out. So I like to sit back and watch him work. Huh? I like all the protection and all of these. Come on now. Those are angels that are encamped all about me. All the day long. Huh? The protection from danger seen and unseen. Amen. The danger seen. Come on now. And unseen. Just think about them things. Come on now. That he every day that he protecting you from. Huh? Amen. Those unseen things. Come on now. Those things in the spirit, you in a sense. Amen. Because huh? the devil always at work. Yeah. Huh? And he got his own <laughs> angels. Come on now. The scripture even talk about it. Man. He have his own. Huh? So when they talk about the devil, right? Being everywhere. No, 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 no. He can't be everywhere. He's not omnipresent. He ain't nothing like our Jesus. But he got Amen. angels. He got individuals that right that he dispatch out to. He has angels that he dispatch right to interrupt your life, mm -hmm. huh? But our Lord, now God, our Lord and our God. Yes, He is. He has angels as well, and they are dispatched. Come on now, directly around about you. So when you think about those dangers seen and unseen, that part right there, because all the battle and all the wars that are going on that we don't know nothing about, come on now. Just imagine all the ancient Mohana that mm -hmm. and, and camped around right there on Rollins Avenue. Come on now. Directly mm -hmm. right there at their entrance. Come on now. Huh? They stop all of the things that are trying to come into this place right here. Huh? And then if they get past those angels here, he got another set sitting right at the door. Oh, my Lord and my God. Then yeah. if they get through the door, oh, my glory, hallelujah. Oh, my Lord and my God. All of these individuals with the spirit of God, oh, glory, hallelujah. Come yeah. on now. Huh? There's levels to this. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Sister Miss. Thank you, Jesus. They sitting in here right now. Thank you, Lord. Yes, ma'am. Yes, your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. 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 Amen.
I know now God is uh he's faithful. Yes, he is. He's definitely faithful, right? We 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 again we may very well uh, uh step outside of what it is that he had for us, right? But our Lord now God, he is faithful. That's that's one thing that he is. Come on now. And if he she thought if he said it, come on now. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know. If he has said it, think about some things that he done said to you. It shall, it shall come to pass. Amen. You best believe that. It shall come to pass. Amen. Come on now. Come on now. Think about that. It is something about our Jesus. When he when he speaks, he ain't like us. When we say something, we're going to do something. And, and we, again, have good intentions. Thank you, Lord. We very well could be really trying to do the thing that we said we were going to do, right? What they said, our word is our bond. Our word is our bond. But every now and again, we're not able to accomplish what it is that we said we were going to do. Thank you, Lord. But our Jesus, come on now. Everything, yeah. come on now. Think about that. Everything that he yeah. says, yeah. Uh, it shall. Oh, glory, hallelujah! Yeah. It shall yeah. come to pass. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, yeah. So you hold on. Yeah. Come on now. See, sometimes people yeah. we might say some things, and we may not be here, right, in the present to witness it. Look what he told Abraham. Huh? Look what he told him. Thank you, Jesus. All the people, right? You ain't even gonna be able to number them and all of these things. I mean, he was just giving him so many things. He ain't see it all, right? But it came to pass. Thank you, Lord. And we still have some things that still have not came to pass as of yet. This in scripture I'm talking about. But I'm talking about the things that he has spoken to you in your life. You best believe it's gonna come to pass. Amen. <gasps> Right? He don't make no mistakes. And he don't go back. Come on now. He don't go back on his word. Amen. He don't go back on his word. Come on now. So parents, if your children gonna be saved, and he told you directly, now come on, because sometimes we get in our mind that he was speaking it, right? Because we do that. I'm, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. That he done told you something, he ain't said it and all that. And, but that's why I tell y'all I fleece him. Because I want to make sure it's him speaking and not me. Right? But sometimes when he do speak, I'm telling you, I don't need no fleecing that. I don't need, because see, sometimes it's a still, small, quiet boy. Sometimes I guess he want to take it up a couple optics to let me know. Huh? And sometimes, I mean, that thing is so, I mean, so, so clear. I I don't need no I don't need to come back and say Lord did you just tell me that no way Jose I know without a Thank shadow of a doubt that that was our Lord now God giving me direction right or giving me what it is that He want for me to have at that particular time. Huh? He could be building me up. He could be comforting me. He could be doing anything at that particular time. But I'm telling you, man, my Lord, my God, when He speaks. Yes. I'm telling you when he speaks, because they say, come on now. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. Right? Thank Amen. You. Man, thank you, mother. Thank now, you, ain't man. that the truth? Huh? He said, my sheep know my boy. Huh? Now, that yeah. ain't nothing but the truth right there. Huh? And another, right? They shall not follow. Amen. Amen. Huh? And another. Thank you, Lord. They shall not follow. Come on now. Who is she on today? I know I am. Come on now. Huh? Come on now. When we use that example, thank you out of Psalms. When he talking, David gave you the whole rundown, right? Of the shepherd. Come on now. And what the shepherd do for his sheep? Huh? He lead him by green pastures. Come on now. He lead him to the water to drink. And he did, it, it, it give you an example of everything that he going to do for you. Then look here. The sheep had nothing to worry about. Huh? All they had to do was leave. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you. The same way, thing we got 
do. That, just live. Mm -hmm. Live righteously. Live unto your Lord and your God and all those needs and all of those wants, right? Come on Amen. now, because we got some wants. Huh? He will Amen. give you what your heart's desires. Yes, right? Mm -hmm. But if we live in righteously, right? And we're living, right? Being obedient. Let me slow it down for you. That part right there. Thank you, Lord. Being obedient. If we are living and being obedient, right? Unto our Lord and our God, huh? Right. Those things that we want from him, it ain't nothing. Thank you, but Jesus. a drop in the bucket. Come on, now. you gotta realize the things that we request from here ain't nothing but a drop in a bucket. That ain't nothing compared to what he want to do for you. Come on now, yeah. That's the thing we got to allow our Lord now oh, to have His way in our lives, man. I mean, it it is it is it is. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Thank he you, just want to leave, and we and we have to allow Him to leave, right, and have His very way. In our lives, it's all he, he want to do. Ephesians three and twenty, Ephesians three and twenty. Now unto him that is able, right, to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. Amen. Right, according to the power that worketh in us. Come on now, now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly, yes. right? Above all, come on now, that we ask or think. Come on, that part right there. Jesus. I don't even ask them for it. Amen. He, above, he go above and beyond. Huh? Lord, I want it. I want this. I want that, right? But we live in righteous and we doing all of these things, right? And uh, come on now, we got to remember that he does it at his own will. Because sometimes that blessing that we want, he know what that's going to do once I bless you. You ain't going to know how to act if I give you this one then. That's right. You may want it. You may be living righteous. You may be living up right now, all these things. And Lord, why you ain't blessed me with that thing I've been asking? You said abundant, above and abundantly, Lord. You said above anything that I can think. And I've been thinking on this thing for a long time. But if I give it to you, you're going to what? You're going to walk away from it. My Lord. Because see, all we think about is materialistic things. Mm -hmm. them tangible. That's what we think of. We think about tangible things. So we want to let me lay our hands on it. But if I bless you with it, man, the Lord blessed me. Did you see that new blah, 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 blah? I mean, come on. We got a whole bunch of things we can name. I ain't even got to call it out. Amen. Uh, the Lord really blessed us all. So did you see? Come on, because that's all we worried about. What things that we can see and put our hand on. Amen. Uh, but just imagine if you just asking our Lord and our God to bless you, to be a blessing. Come on, that's to be a blessing to somebody else. What if you mm -hmm. ask the Lord to help you to be a blessing to someone else? Thank you, Lord. So just imagine, right, if we doing that, how much more, right, that he gonna bless you with. Because mm -hmm. if you ain't asking him, right, about me, 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 you asking him, what can I do, do, do for you? Amen. So when we put that aside, huh? And we take and put that over here and we go to him and say, Lord, well, what would you have for me to do? I just want to be a blessing unto you, unto your body, unto what it is Amen. that you have for me to do, right? To uplift your kingdom because it ain't nothing about me, about what I'm obtaining, right? Here on earth. Thank you, Lord. I ain't Probably. saying don't live. I ain't saying that get some of them wants. But if we constantly going unto him and all we asking for is for ourselves, right? Or what the tangible things that he can bless us with. Come on now. We better rethink that. Amen. Let's rethink that. Huh? But he got some other things because it's a work to do. 
this thing is great. This is a great work. Amen. And it doesn't require us just to come in here on Sunday to give him right all our songs of praise and give him the testimony on Sunday before service and hear our favorite songs and hear the word of God and leave out of here. You got a work to do. Thank you, Lord. Huh? It ain't just in here. Who we talking to during the week? Huh? Huh? Are we asking individuals how their day is? And, you know, if the opportunity, I got to say it like that, if the opportunity presents itself that you're able, right, to begin to speak about the Lord, because you better not jump bombard nobody now, because that ain't what he's talking about. The Lord will make an opportunity, That's right, true. if he see fit for you all to have a conversation about him. Thank you, Lord. He will see fit. Because again, you got to remember, he know who, our oh, glory, hallelujah, Jesus, who belongs to him. He know who belongs to him. We don't. So our job is to do what it is that he needs us to do. Right? So if an opportunity to present itself for you to be able to speak to another individual and give them our Lord and our God, right? Then you do so. It's not up to you to be like, oh man, they ain't going to hit me. Who are you? Because it, because first of all, if we're doing it the way that we that he wants us to do, it's him that speaks. It is him that speaks through you to them anyway. So before I even speak to an individual or in the middle of a conversation and I can tell how this thing about to go, Lord, guide my tongue. Amen. Lord, have mercy. I need you, right, to speak through me right now. Because it is something about this conversation that you sparked up, right? So I want you to have full control of this conversation. Lord, I need you, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, to guide my tongue right now. Come on now, because it is something that you're going to give me that's for that individual. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Come on now. I can very well, come on, be the beginning. I could be the one that what? Planner. I could be the one to come back and water. But it is God that giveth the increase. Thank you, Lord. So where are you in that step? It don't matter. Don't worry about if you planting the water. And I told you once before, sometimes you are both. You Thank coming you, back to water what you already planted. Because you can have a conversation with an individual that you already done talked to years before, prior. And now the situation, right, and their life has changed. And now they want to come back around and begin to ask you certain questions, right? So don't turn them now because they did not, right, move the way that you thought. That's the problem right there. The way that you thought they should have moved. It ain't up to us. We don't do no saving. Huh? We ain't handing out no spirit. It is his spirit. Amen. It's our Lord and our God. Thank you, he Jesus. He person the way he see fit. Right? Um, so we can be all that. I mean, come on now. We, we will beat people down because we want them family. Come on now. We want them family members. We want them to receive the spirit of God. So we'll Thank beat you, them. Jesus. I mean, beat them down. They don't hear Thank you no more. Huh? I tell you about living that life. All you got to do is live the life before them. They already know right from wrong. So why you got to keep talking to them about what it is that they doing wrong? Love on them. Mm -hmm. ah, love on them. Show them, right? By your life. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That is what we're here to do. You ain't here to browbeat nobody, right? About what they doing wrong. Huh? We talked about last week, such were some of what? Us. Amen. Didn't you do something? So why you keep talking about what they doing? Ain't none of us here perfect. And such were some of what? Us. Thank you, Lord. So the Brother job Brian. is to help them get saved. Brother Brian. That's all the job is. Jesus. Thank and you. And if he give you something to give them, then you give it to him. That's it. Brother Brian. Don't you beat nobody up. Because the Lord gonna get you anyway. You go ahead on. And you go ahead and keep on playing that game. And you go ahead and do it the way you want to do. Brother uh, Brian. It, it, it is not done unto our Lord. <laughs> no, it is not for his the uplifting mm -hmm. of his kingdom when you began to do things like that. that Brother, so Brother, Brian. Brother Brian. Yes, yes. Somebody got something? Yes. Praise the Lord. Y'all turn Brian. it up. I can't hear. I'm up. 
<laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Now turn down just a little bit. I can hear you a whole lot now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, no, praise the Lord. <laughs> one, one of the things I was going to say as you were talking, we there's a scripture that said, he that winning souls is wise. So when we Amen. are listening and we are talking to people and we're drawing them in with loving kindness and tender mercy, we have to use wisdom. You can't use every application for the many people that you witness to in life. Each situation is different and we have to have compassion. We have to have a listening ear so that we can draw them in so that Amen. when they do come to Christ, they will be happy. Amen. 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 I agree. It, it's, again, we have to be wise in what we do. Right? Thank you, Sister Mary. Yeah. That, that is, again, uh, that's what we're talking about. Us letting the Lord right, lead us. It's not up to us. So we had to lay all our wants and kids in that sense aside. We can want, I mean, man, come on now. Who don't want their family members safe? You understand what I'm saying? Who don't want their family members safe? They children, huh? They brothers, they sisters, mothers and fathers. Come on now, because it could be you that your mother or your father not even say. But the Lord decided to say you because you were right before him. Come on now. I talked about uh, him already knowing who belongs unto him. Come on now. He knew that your mother or your father, right? Your mother was going to birth you. And he knew that he was going to save you and very well may not, may not save them. But he got a plan for your life. Right? Guess what? He had a plan for theirs too. They, the plan for them was to birth you. He still had a plan for him. Right? So he don't make no mistakes. It's us to do. He doesn't make any. Amen. He doesn't agree. Right? With what he's doing. Huh? Amen. We may not agree. But we better, come on now. We better ask him, come on that Lord, forgive me. Right? For what I'm even thinking. Because I may not agree. Right? We can get angry with the Lord too. Huh? Because we don't like some of the decisions that he makes for us. Hmm. Because we don't like some of the decisions that he makes for our lives. Right? Some of them we help him out with. <laughs> some of some of the decisions that he make, we help him out with, huh? So we gotta be careful about what we do. Again, Elder talked about it earlier. Acknowledge him in all our ways. That's what we to do. We gotta acknowledge before we do anything. We have to acknowledge our Lord now, God, in all that ways, right? Because he has a, come on now. He got your, he knows the end from the beginning. Amen. He knows the end from the beginning. Huh? So let's let him have our way in our life. Let the individuals that don't have him begin to think about that. Anybody that's going to go back and watch this at a later date that do not have the spirit of God, come on now, lay it down. Because you need him. My Lord. Before you you need the spirit of God before you leave this earth. Come on now. Talk about Maybe. last week, huh? He to have not the spirit of God or not of his. Huh? So you can praise him all you want to. Come on now. Everybody, come on now. He talk about our Lord and our God. Come on now. And having it in the praises, right? Of everyone. Come on now. Thank you. If you Jesus. ain't gonna praise him, they said the rocks gonna cry out. Amen. And it's all right. But you can do all the praising you want. If you don't have his spirit, it don't mean nothing. Huh? Now he's going to have it on those praises. He's going to take all those praises in that you give him. Come on now. Because he God. So he expect that from you. But I'm telling you now, if you die today without his spirit, oh, my Lord and my God, you not going, oh, my Lord and my God, back into heaven to be with your Lord and your God. You will not rise at the last Amen. trump. You will not meet him in the air. You won't. 
You don't want to hear it, but I'm telling you. You don't want to hear it, but I'm telling you. If you don't have the spirit of God, you ain't going. Amen. So Amen. stop putting people in heaven. Thank you. Come on now. We do it all the time. Go to the funerals. Come on now. We know we, oh, so-and-so lead a certain way. Uh -huh. They have the spirit of God. Oh, yeah. Yo. They have that. That's all I want to know. Where at in that work? Come on now. You read that picture word and all that. And that little part right there when they say they received of his spirit uh, on this particular day. His new birthday, if you will. Come on now. Thank Where that's it? Huh, you got a, a birth date and a death date on the outside of it. But when they read through your obituary, where at the net is they going to get you that new, oh, my Lord and my God, that new birthday? Thank you, Thank you. Jesus. Huh? Make sure you put mine, put mine in there. If my Amen. family listening right now, September the 26th, Amen. 2013, put mine it's in all, there. It's all right. Thank you, Jesus. Huh, don't yeah. leave that out. You can talk about all I did. Now, I don't even care about that. Make sure that part right there. September the 26th, 2013. He received this. Real oh God. Come on down. Thank you, Lord. That's all that I care about right there. Huh? My name, hallelujah, Jesus, being written. Oh, Ooh. glory, hallelujah, yeah. Jesus, in the Lamb's book of life. That's yeah. all I care. She thought I'm more harder. That's yeah. all. That, oh, my Lord and my God, that I care about. Amen. You can talk about all the accomplishments. I don't care nothing about them. Thank you. All man. I want is that. Thank you, Jesus. Because this life going in. And then it's on to the next. Huh? Thank you. Man. That's the one that don't end. That is forever. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Mother Eternity. That's the one that don't end right there. This one will appoint it unto a man once to die. It is a point that 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 will happen. You can live and live now 120, 130, 140. Don't do it that much nowadays, but people are still reaching 100 years old. But that what they say, your life is nothing but a vapor. Mm -hmm. Now we can go back and we can look at all oh, man, they lived a heck of a life, or they let the Lord bless them to have a long life here on earth. But where are you going to spend eternity? Come on, now. Right, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Where are you going to spend eternity? Why don't you think about that? I'm going to have all the fun I can right here. Wow. Mm. <clears throat> and I'm talking about the wrong kind of fun because I ain't saying saints can't have fun. I think they get it twisted. People seem to think that saints can't have fun. Huh? See, the type of fun I used to have, I don't want to dodge it no more. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to indulge in it. At that time, I thought I was having a ball. You mm -hmm. understand me? Huh? So I'm not uh, uh, oblivious to the fact that individuals, when they having uh, such a hard time making their way unto the Lord, I am not no stranger to that. So I understand, right? The hiccups or the, road, the stumbling blocks, right? <laughs> Talk about what the devil put in front of you. Oh, man, this week, I ain't going to drink this week. Uh, you may get six out of seven days out of it. Huh? Come on now. I didn't went, I didn't went about a month on my own. But my Lord, my God, he did it. Come on now. Thank you, oh, Lord. I'm trying to take this one. All it took for me to do is take one step, one, no, 12-step program for Brian. All I mm -hmm. took it one step toward my Lord and my God. Jesus. Yes. Like Thank Bishop you. like to say all the time, he took a hard step towards me. Thank yes, you. I took one step and he took one too. But his was so much greater than mine. Yeah, so when you think about all the things, uh, oh my Lord and my God, that he has brought you from. When you began Come on now, to make that step now, oh my Lord and my God, unto him. And it is him that knoweth the heart. So he know in which way when you're stepping towards him, when you real. Because see, we can do all the Lord is my last <laughs> as time. I know I wasn't the only one that said it. Let's keep it real now. I know I wasn't the only one that said it. 
Thank you. Lord, if you help me do this one right now. And he do it, though. Come on now. He do it. But he know you're going to turn right back around. You're going to go good a little while because you're going to think about what he did and you're going to be basking all in. Oh, Jesus is so great. And that individual, because see, your, that might be what your haircut may be. That individual come back on around. Huh? That devil know what the what the what the tap on. Come on now. You may not pull, pull it on Monday. Huh? But by the time Friday get here, you can't resist them no more. Huh? Mm -hmm. But with God, I gotta keep saying that part right there. Thank but, you, Lord. God. Thank you, All Jesus. Thanks. Whatever your thing is. That way he said thanks. Come on, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All right? Lord. With God. All <laughs> things. Think about your thing. Come on now. What is your thing? Thank you, Jesus. What is your thing? Hallelujah. Y'all got one. Hallelujah. Oh, Y'all know it, man. My, my, my thing was that bottle, Jack. That was my thing. And there were so many others, though. But that was the hiccup for me. I, I yeah. didn't do a whole lot of things. But that one right there, oh, my Lord. When I talk about that one having a hold on me, that, that stronghold. I tried and I tried and I tried. But when Jesus got a hold of me. Thank you, Lord. Yes. On, when he got a hold Thank of you, Lord. that Thank thing, you, that thing no longer had its grip on me. Thank you, Lord. It no longer had a grip on me. Huh? Because I, 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 I wanted to, I mean, I'm talking about fighting this thing. Drunk prayers, Lord, you know I don't want to do this no more. And in my heart of hearts, I really didn't. Jesus. But that's when we talk about that stronghold piece. Because I did not want to do this no more. But that flesh, huh? See, my spirit was tired. It was. I'm talking about, Lord, take this thing off me, Lord Jesus. I'm so sick and tired of drinking. I'm talking about waking up to a drink, going to bed to a drink. Mm -hmm. But Lord, I need you to take it off. And he recognized the sincerity of my heart. Thank you, Lord. Talk about him knowing the heart. He knew this time I was serious. I don't want this thing no more. Huh? Yours may not be alcohol. Yours may be fornication. Yours may be uh, uh, Marie or Johnny. We ain't talking about Elder Johnny, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't talking about him. We talking about another Johnny, not here. <laughs> Amen. But, but, but what I'm saying is, yours could be another individual. And I'm not saying that you necessarily fornicating with that individual. What that individual brings to your life. Mm -hmm. You can't resist them. I ain't drinking this week. But soon as so-and-so come around, there you go. Mm -hmm. But I had all intentions, Lord. Come on now. It is something about this other individual that comes into your life. Mm -hmm. I ain't saying don't love them. But you may got to pull back a little bit. Come on now. See, you got to pull back enough to the Lord have his way in your life. You got to pull back so much, come on now, that the Lord goes before you. So now when the individual comes around you, that spirit of God is already standing right there in between them. He's standing in the gap. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> uh, we got to get to that point, right? We got to submit, right? Submit. I'm going past my time, but we got to submit. Thank you. Locations, places you go. Come not be an individual, but 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 that submission piece, right? Thank that submission you. piece, right? I'm going to read 1 Peter, the 23rd piece right there. 1 Peter 2 and 23. He even, right, who, when he was reviled, reviled not. When he suffered, he threatened that, but committed himself, right? To him that judgeth righteously. Thank my you, Lord and my God. Committed. It's to surrender. Yield up. In trust. To give into the hands of another. He committed himself. 
What we going to do? What we going to do? Are we going to commit ourselves? Huh? You know how they talk about committing somebody into an asylum? You better commit yourself unto Jesus. Amen. Huh? Huh? You got individuals that sick in their mind, so they got to commit them or family member got to sign off, right? Because they are unable to distinguish right, wrong, and so forth and so on, right? Got psychological issues, right? So we commit them. But those of us, right, that have a right mind, we're able to commit ourselves unto our Lord and our God. Yeah. Huh? That submission is what he asks for. Submit. Commit. Right? Yield up. Give unto another one's hand. So your okay. life is no longer your own. Your life when you when you receive the spirit of God that spirit should overtake your life. Amen. So your life is no longer your own. Thank you. That's what it's talking about. Your life is no longer your own. Amen. You can want to do certain things. But that's why I'd also talk about us going unto our Lord now, God, right? Before we do anything. Because it ain't your life no more. Thank you, Jesus. Go to him. Ask him to lead you. Ask him to guide you. Right? Those prayers that we come on in. What? Cast them cares. Cast those kids. Bishop and man, Eric, since he said that, probably been over a month ago. I, that thing ain't left me yet. Cast your kids. For the ones that gonna come back and listen to this later, cast your kids. I know. Because you holding on to something. Cast him at his feet. Leave him right there. Thank you. He want it all. Because you can't take it no more. Come on now. See, you trying to do it on your own. Oh, glory, hallelujah. But he said, cast all your cares at his feet. Thank you, Lord. And don't go back and pick it up. That's the other part we do right there. Oh, let me take a little bit of this with me. Oh, let me go back and get some more now, cause the week went bad. You gonna go? You did you go stuffing it back in your pockets? But you claim that you leaving it at his feet, Thank but you going you. back and pick up everything that you claim that you were leaving right there. Our God can do all things. All things. All things are possible. Amen. Ain't got a capital to A in it, y'all. It got a capital A sitting right there. All. Thank you. Whatever that thing is. Huh? All things. All things. Let that sink in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Are possible. Come on now. Somebody need to hit. She thought I'm on her. Oh, shit. I got Thank stuck you. right there. Y'all forgive me. And I know I'm over my time. I'm about to cut off right here. But all oh, times oh, of Amen. glory, hallelujah, are possible through our Lord and our God. Oh, yeah. All things. Come on now. Whatever that thing is, you better come on now. Whatever your thing is. I keep saying that because we got a thing. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever your thing is that is holding you back, holding you down. He can help you. Thank you, Lord. It is something about this Jesus. You better get it to know him. Huh? The ones that been holding on to him for a long time. You better get the hey, look, hey, get back in your word. Huh? Some of them been with him so long, we ain't even reading no more. You just praying. Thank you, Jesus. All you doing is praying. You living every day. You waking up. You thanking him. You ain't touching. Come on now. You ain't even reading his word. Amen. Huh? You better read that word. Amen. That will, hold. That will sustain you. Come on now. Amen. That's what 
help all things what consist. Thank you. That is being held together. So this word holds you together. It binds you. Come on in. Oh yeah. With him. The word of God and him is one. It's interchangeable. So when you read him, you spend the time directly with your Lord and your God. Amen. When you are reading his word, you are spending time with your daddy. Amen. Huh? Thank you. you talking Amen. about I want to hear from him. Well, he talking to you. In his word. I want to hear from him. He ain't talking. Get in his word. I don't know how to read. Come on, stay right there. Amen. I don't know how to study. Stay right there. Amen. I don't get it. Stay right there. Amen. We got all the excuses in the word, but all I'm going to tell you is stay right there. Good it teaching. And he is going to, he is yeah. going to open up himself. Yes, he will. Unto you. Huh? Sometimes, Bishop, can, you could be thinking about something. I don't know if it ever happened to y'all. Y'all maybe got stuck on the scripture or something like that. And Bishop, he'll, you, it, come on now. Bishop don't know what you studying or what you reading, but our Lord and our God sometimes can unlock what it was that you was very well thinking of through the man of God. Amen. So true. Huh? He Thank uses goodness. who he wants to use. And he chooses to operate how he wants to. We can't put him in the box. I thank y'all. I didn't went over my time. <laughs> All right. God, God is good. God is amazing. Amen. Now we 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 can't begin to even right a uh, really find him. Come on now, what he wants to do in our lives. Amen. What he really wants to do in our lives, right? We all we got what was 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 like I said earlier, dropping the bucket of what he wants to do. He want to do so much more. He wants to do so much more. He want to show you so much more. Because when I say do, we think about that tangible. Once again, oh, I got that house coming. That ain't what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That ain't what I'm talking about. So get off the stuff you can touch. He trying to show you so much more. Come on in. He can open up the windows of heaven. I heard Bishop talk about that itself. He just opened it up and let him see. He just got a glimpse of it. Mm -hmm. What you think Paul talk about? The third heaven and all that? Come on now. Paul ain't talking about the things that he received tangibly. He talk about that relationship that he had with our Lord and our God. And how he opened up scriptures and showed him certain things. He even talked about himself in the third person. Thank you, Lord. Let's get those things. Let's hold on to those things. When the Lord decided to show you himself, that trumps anything here. That trumps anything here when he shows you himself through his word. And you being so faithful that he literally opened up your eyes and just showed you, right? Come on now, into another realm. Jesus. Huh? He can show you stuff in a whole nother realm now. He can show you spirits. Show you good ones and bad ones. That's why we're supposed to be discerners. Right? Come on now. Let the Lord have his way in our lives, right? Let the Lord have his way in our lives. Come on now. I, I, I don't know if you mind me telling this right quick, Mr. Jones. Uh, I know years ago she, she was telling me about how she was in prayer, right? And you was down in your basement and she praying, praying, praying. And, you know, the, the enemy came unto her as she was in prayer, right? And telling them to get, telling her to get up and stand. Am I saying it right? Look, turn around and look. Turn around and look, right? And she just stayed right there. That ain't the voice of God. Huh? Huh? So yeah. next thing you know, the Lord showed her, right? All the, what? Gods and angels that were, she thought like Mohana. We talked about it earlier, about the angels being encamped around you. Huh? So he showed her, right? Those angels, right? That were encamped around her, right? Come on now. And they had their swords drawn, if I'm correct, right? Come on now. And they had their swords drawn and they just showed her. Come on now. All of this, right? And watch this, though. Years later, about Probably about two years, she tell her more. Huh? 
I thought in my God, about two years ago for me, right? I'm walking into my glory. Glory, hallelujah. I'm walking into my job and the same thing that you saw, I saw it as I was walking into my building of my job. All of the angels, oh glory, hallelujah, there was a character around me as I was walking into that place. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh my Lord and my God, all those swords were drawn as I was walking. It's like I was walking right in the midst of them and it was all around me and all I could see was the swords being drawn as they was making in a way, oh glory, hallelujah, yeah. as I was walking into the building. Oh my Lord, thank you, Jesus. Thank I tell you, you, sometimes we forget, that's what I'm just talking about, we forget about some things and sometimes the Lord show us. But yeah. if we think about the goodness, oh glory, hallelujah, of our Lord and our God. Huh? Yeah. Think about it. Sometimes he show you things and we just let them roll off our back. Or we let it, or, or we think about it for a week or so and that's it. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Miss Jim. My Lord and my God. Say something. Because <laughs> I got the cut off. I, I, man, Lord, man, the Lord is good. I got the cut off. I pray we got something out of the lesson on today. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, God, Jesus. But once again, oh, Father, God, thank you, but once again, oh, Father, God, Jesus, giving us, oh, Father, what it is that you want us to have, oh, Father. Thank Lord, you. I pray, oh, Father, God, Jesus, even, oh, Father, God, Jesus, for the services that's going to continue to take place, oh, Father, in your name, thank oh, Father, throughout your body. Right? Throughout your body, not just here at 810, Father God Jesus. Yes, you yes, have yes. so much more, oh Father God Jesus. Hallelujah. And store for us, oh Father. Oh my Lord and my God. Help us, oh Father. Hallelujah. Oh my Lord and my God to allow you to have your way in our lives, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Oh my Lord and my God. Oh glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. I pray, oh Father, that you allow us, Lord, to pour the flesh and the subjection, oh Father. Hallelujah. Oh my Lord and my God. And allow you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, that have your way in our lives, oh Lord. That's all you want. You just want to be able to live, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, through us, oh Father God, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. And my prayer is, oh Father, oh my Lord and my God, that I'm able, Lord, and that we are able, Lord, oh, to let you live, oh Father. Hallelujah. Oh, because you have a plan and you have a job, oh Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, glory, hallelujah, Jesus. And I pray Oh, Father, oh, that you move, oh, Father, in such a special way, oh, Father, oh, my Lord and my God, oh, for the backslider on this morning, oh, Father, God, Jesus, oh, they need you, Lord, and there's nothing that they have done, oh, glory, hallelujah, oh, my Lord and my God, that they're unable, oh, glory, hallelujah, oh, to make their way back unto your Father, oh, glory, hallelujah, and the one that have not received of your spirit, oh, oh glory, hallelujah, oh, let them go down and water in Jesus' name. Oh, glory, hallelujah. And go on, oh, my Lord and my God, oh, to receive of your spirit. Oh, I thank you, Father, on today. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray, oh, Father God, Jesus, for anyone that is sick in their bodies on this morning, thank Lord. You. Oh, that you touch them, oh, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, my Lord and my God. Oh, that arthritis, oh, Father. Oh, my Lord and my God. Oh, wherever it is, oh, Father, touch it, oh, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my thank Lord you. and my God. Oh, let the blind, oh, Father God, Jesus, oh, receive sight on this morning, oh, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, let the crumble, oh, Father. Father, hallelujah. Oh, my Lord and my God. Oh, regain their strength in their legs on this morning, oh, Father. Hallelujah. Oh, you are God. Oh, my Lord and my God. Oh, they cannot fail, oh, Father. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Oh, whatever the need is, oh, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let them, Lord, oh, to depend and lean on your Father. Hallelujah. Oh, calling on your name, oh, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, the name of Jesus, oh, oh my Lord and my God, oh we need you, Father. Oh bless, oh Father. Oh keep us, oh Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, pray, Amen. Thank you.
Amen, Jesus. Hallelujah.